I'm Allison Baird, and I'm playing Rose in the flick. My name is Patrick Sedeby, and I am playing the role of Sam in the flick. And I'm Jimmy, and I'm playing the role of Avery. My name is Joel Egger, I'm the director of The Flick. So The Flick is about three different people who are working at a movie theater called The Flick, and they're making the transition from um, 35 mil to digital. And so it, it's really three different people's perspectives. Um, one person who has worked there for years, one person who has um, some experience but is fairly new, and then someone who's brand new. Um, so there's a lot of contrast in, in those different characters and, and what their own story is as far as as far as the plot goes. Um, the story, it's an interesting play. It, it's, uh, it's about these three characters that work in an art house movie theater in Massachusetts in 2012. Um, and it's about them, you know, Avery is a new character played by Jimmy Glenn who is, you know, hired within the first scene. And we get to know how he is getting to know the other character, Sam, the projectionist Rose. Um, the events of the play are few. There's not a lot that happens, but there's a lot of subtext that you know we get to know how they get to know one another, um, how their relationships develop and then eventually disintegrate. Um, so it's hard to talk about the story of the flick because it's not a traditional play in that a lot of things happen. But these, we watch these three characters throughout different stages of their own maturity. My character's name is Avery, and um, I think when we first meet him, um, almost all the way till the end of the play, he's a pretty shy character, and he likes to keep in the shell. And these two other people, Rose and Sam, help him try to come out of his shell without them even knowing it. You know, Avery's a character who's very, he's sort of film snob, he's very, he's very interested in um, classic cinema, he's in, interested in analyzing cinema and has very strong views about how uh, how cinema should be analyzed and critiqued. Sam is somebody who's been working at the theater for a long time and he just loves movies, like he loves stories, he loves Hollywood, he loves um, big blockbuster popcorn movies. My character is Sam and he has been working at The Flick, which is the name of the movie theater, for quite some time. Um, kind of, And uh, when Avery comes in, he shows him the ropes and everything. And, quickly find out that Sam is, a, he's not mean, he's just brash. He doesn't have a censor, you know, uh, and in, interchanges words uh, with, with, with not using their actual meaning. But um, good-hearted and everything, he's trying to start a new life. And then when Avery does come in again, he has, he, I feel like he, he finds this like, oh, someone has the same interest as me. Like for once, we can talk about movies, we can talk about all these things that, that about film that we enjoy. Rose is someone, you know, she, she can come across as a, a little bit abrasive and like she doesn't really care. Um, but the more that I've learned about her, the more I, I'm realizing that she really is vulnerable and she cares a lot about other people and, and um, she wants to make the most of the situations that she's in. Um, she's the projectionist and is sort of a devil may care uh, character that is really has, uh, is, is struggling to find her own way. In, in between these two characters. So they're all, all three of those relationships blossom and then um, change over the course of the script. And the rehearsal process has been, has been different for this show as well, just because the language is so realistic and so human um, that it's almost a little bit more difficult than it is uh, like if you're playing like a crazy character. There's a lot of ums and huhs and pauses. And so the lines have been a little bit more difficult to memorize actually, just because it is so um, similar to how we talk naturally. And I really enjoy working with Joel and all the other actors. Um, what makes this play different is it's such a hyper-realistic play that I just, you know, it's really, really hard to, to not to act and like not try to act at the same time too. And the language is hard as well because the language is, is just like how we talk. And yeah, it, overall, it's a harder play. It's one of the hardest plays I've ever been in, but it's probably one of the most fun plays because I get to be myself and I get to interact with other people who are themselves as well. This particular cast has been really, really great to work with. Um, and I knew that going into casting it, it had to kind of have the right personalities and um, people that had you know, a, a fun-loving atmosphere and we're willing to work hard, but also willing to kind of, to play off of each other. And, um, you know, in callbacks, I found some good connections with those folks. And so, you know, uh, Jimmy, who's a freshman, and uh, Patrick, who's an upperclassman, um, have, have to have this really great 
different points of view, but very good connection as actors for the characters. And that's been just so much fun to watch. And um, I'm really proud of those two. And Alison Baird, who plays the role of Rose, um, occupies this very different energy in, in between those two male roles. And um, she's, uh, she's doing a wonderful job at, um, at, at kind of fitting in with these two different points of view. So, and, and then uh, uh, Maria Wen, who plays a couple of different roles in a couple of different scenes, adds this other texture to the whole show. So I'm really proud of my cast, I guess I could say. Mm -hmm. And they've, I've, I've kind of taken the aesthetic uh, that, or the intention in rehearsal that a lot of the responsibility on this story becoming alive is relying upon these actors. And I wanted to make sure I had the right crew uh, the right cast, and um, I absolutely do. It's such an intimate cast with it, with there only being four of us. So off stage, you know, we have our own rapport as actors and students, and we've known each other for a while. And on stage, um, that has been difficult because we have to pretend like we've never met each other before, or that um, you know we have to put ourselves in those relationships and in those circumstances. And then in you know in the second act, then then we're really close and and um, have these friendships built. So. It's been it's been really neat because we're we've gotten really close as a cast through this show because our characters get close as well, um, and that's something that I haven't I haven't been able. Joel Joel is a force, man. I, I saw I, I had him uh, for a teacher my my first year here at Doan and just got a glimpse of it. And his energy, his excitement, his his passion, it's contagious. You can't you can't not just dive in and and you want to do good. You want to do do justice as much to your character as possible and tell the story. I have had Joel as a professor before, but never as a director. Um, I really appreciate the fact that he is a um, an actor director, so he knows what it's like to be given notes um, as an actor, and so he's really, really good about um, helping us find those little nuances and those things that we don't necessarily um, think about and so yes, he, he's involved with the grand scheme of things and he needs to make sure that the picture is beautiful, but he also is very, very particular about um, relationships and communicating and listening to each other. And sometimes that can be lost um, in directors, but Joel has, has done a wonderful job throughout that process. It's a play about relationships. It's a play about um, cinema. It's a play about growing up and letting go and moving on. Um, and it's a correct play about how we all are walking around with a lot of um, a lot of uh, dark issues from our past, you know, that kind of live right below the surface. Come to the flick November 16th, 17th, and 18th at, at Doan, Doan University. University. Please come see the flick uh, November 16th, 17th, and 18th here at Doan University. We open Thursday, November 16th. Come see the flick.